What is going on guys, it is Power Bang bringing you guys another Clash of Clans video. You may notice a brand new backdrop. This isn't going to be a permanent thing, but it is different than the backdrops I've been rocking in previous videos. Many of you guys know that I've been in the process of buying and selling my house. Finally, I've done that and we are fully moved. Now, we are not fully set up, but we're fully moved, trying to get the office in order. I've got stuff everywhere in bags. I've got my acoustic foam ready to roll. So if it sounds a little echoey in this episode, I apologize for that. But we're getting there, guys. Anyways, back with another Clash of Clans video. I know you guys probably heard, uh, but there was an update that came out here recently. And I happened to miss most of this. Didn't upload any for the past few days because I was literally... No internet connection, no nothing, didn't even log on to the game, uh, but we are back. And I noticed that uh, I kind of have a lot to farm now, it's kind of weird. So I looked at my laboratory at Town Hall 11 and check this out. We've got uh, a whole lot of stuff, all of it elixir that I have to upgrade. Oh my god, it makes me cringe because... I thought I was done. I literally had a maxed out laboratory. Everything else is maxed. But now we've got wall breakers. We've got wizards. We've got healers, pekkas, and miners. All of which have another level now that we can add to them. So I want to kind of talk a little bit about that in this video. Uh, prioritize the upgrades. What I would do first. And then also show you guys some raids uh, from... This recent war with Reddit Viper, it was a midweek random war. Shouts to uh, Reddit Viper, uh, you guys are awesome. Uh, that being said, let's look at these troops. Okay, first up, I'm going to have to say minor to level 5 has got to be your number one priority. Uh, it's simply too powerful in dip attacks from Town Hall 11's hitting 10's, as well as, you know, it could be viable here 11 v 11. We've seen it done uh, on a couple of occasions. I don't know, but I think minor... For overall usability uh, has got to be the top upgrade. That being uh, said, I think the number two upgrade here is going to be the healer. So the healer is uh, a level four currently. And some might even argue that this should be the top priority, as that level 5 healer is long overdue in the uh, eyes of many. So, I think that the healer should be second to the minor, but definitely right up there at the top. It's just going to give so much extra power to those queen charges and queen walks, and it really helps your queen and the, the walk itself stack up against those beefier Town Hall 11 point defenses. Your third priority, in my opinion, should be the wall breakers getting those bad boys up to another level level seven to be exact that is going to do wonders for you breaking through those walls that are super super high level having any sort of wall baker fail or catching anything with splash if you fail to get through those you are simply not beating through them uh, before your raid is dead in the dust in addition to the wall breakers You've got a toss up here between the P.E.K.K.A. and the Wizard. Now the Wizard for me is going to be an obvious number four because it's going to basically out service the P.E.K.K.A. as far as the number of times it's going to appear in your army. Having that Wizard, um, you're going to have several in every army composition you do to funnel. Maybe it backs up your army a little bit. Who knows? Wizards though are my number four. And P.E.K.K.A. still waiting for it to show a little bit of usefulness in the actual battles. Eh, we'll see. Maybe it'll happen. I don't really know. Um, we might get into that in more detail in future episodes, but let's go ahead and uh, check out some attacks. First off, another thing to point out, we had the, uh, the update that came out is the Dark Village. We now have an upgradable Builder Hall. We can upgrade uh, to Builder Hall 6. Now, you guys, I, I highly recommend... That if you do go to 6, that you're ready to, to get some attacks in, to get those uh, Night Witches up and rolling. Because that is the new troop that's coming to the Builder Hall. Um, if you prefer the Builder Hall play over the main game, I know some of you guys do and that's what you're finding enjoyable right now. Definitely uh, spend some time getting those Night Witches up and rolling. And also the Roaster. For those people that do like gem their Night Witches that uh, are really, really aggressive at getting those up and rolling. The roaster is about your only prayer to take care of the bats, so you know you want to prioritize that right away. And get your second crusher down. Another crusher available at Builder Hall 6. I have not done it myself yet. Again, first time that I've logged into the game. Uh, one change that I kind of caught wind of uh, a little bit after 
um, I think it was announced was the, the this guy right here, the clock tower just got nerfed badly, and I don't understand it. Like, what are you doing with with that? I, I don't I don't know. I don't I don't get that change at all. I'm not happy with it. The clock tower was one of my favorite things uh, as far as new buildings are concerned, and I felt like that it had a chance to like make it maybe to the main base one of these days. Um, but the clock tower, not a big fan of that change at all. I really don't know what they were thinking. Uh, because they knew by nerfing that clock tower, it was going to incite a riot, more or less. So, eh, you know, I think I think there's been uh, better changes in the past from Supercell. Not a fan of that one. But I am a fan of the Night Witch. Uh, we'll have to see how the balance is in, in the actual game. We saw it on the dev build when I showed you guys the strategies before. Quite strong. So we'll see how it is in the main mode as well. So let's go ahead and check out the, uh, the war here against Reddit Viper. And I've got a few attacks to show off today. We had some guys with some really good stuff. Let's start off with KC. Um, he's bringing the Town Hall 10 action. And these guys actually didn't go with the new level 3 miners uh, that are now available at Town Hall 10. So we don't have a whole lot of guys with that unlocked yet. And obviously, since I have progressed past Town Hall 10, I don't really have that to show you. But Sean 2, uh, that is leading WHF, he has the level 3 miners. I may hit him up and see if we can get some footage of that on Town Hall 10s to show you guys and see how it actually does. So, KC here is bringing the Baby Dragon Funnel. You can see these wizards on the edge. You see how those wizards are pretty much used in a lot of army compositions. That's why I think I would prioritize them over the P.E.K.K.A.s uh, when you're looking to try to figure out which, you know, troop to upgrade first. That is a lot of elixir and a lot of farming. Those of you at Town Hall 11 know that the elixir comes far slower than gold or dark elixir just because you're spending so much of it on these big armies to try to compete and get that big loot bonus. Um, so yeah, I think that uh, I've got some farming to do for sure. Uh, I gotta get those miners, healers, wall breakers. Those are the big ones to me like that I want unlocked immediately. The other two I don't care so much about, but the, uh, the level 8 wizards do look really cool. Uh, so I'm excited to see those as well. So hey, spells come down. Loon's going in, and the queen, just a monster entry. She survives and is going to you know, persist into the cleanup here. So that's exactly what you want as an attacker. And then a really good uh, swarm of balloons coming in from that top side. It's going to force the main group right to the Inferno Tower, which is like right where he wants them to go. It's down, and now it's all about this queen. Look at this. Skeleton spell is delayed. He waits for the queen to hop the wall, then drops it. That was absolutely key. And then uh, all the balloons are, are pretty well spread. They're going to take out that wizard tower. And then he gets a nice split onto the last couple of buildings here. So really nice hit here from KC. We'll kind of fast forward through the rest of it. Awesome raid, dude. Uh, minions there for the cleanup. Really, really nice work. Chodel getting... Uh, get smacked. So, all right. Next up, we're going to do another Town Hall 10 versus 10 raid. Um, dude, I cannot believe I'm in like in my new, you guys are gonna, I think you'll like the new setup when I get it all ready. Um, uh, the desk is actually gonna go back there. I'm not in my actual spot right now. I'm building a table, to, uh, like a table into the wall, essentially. It's gonna go the length of that wall over there. And that happens to be 12 feet. So it's gonna be an absolutely monstrous desk. I'm gonna put my command station up there. Uh, really pumped about that, and I'm hoping to show that off here in an episode coming up real soon. Maybe on a live stream, we'll see what happens. Uh, but let me know if you guys want to see uh, the new pad when I get it all kind of presentable and organized and up and running and whatnot. But yeah, just random stuff kind of hanging around right now. <laughs> Trying to get boxes unpacked. I literally had to unpack all this stuff, set it up so I could actually record. Because I've been living out of, yeah, like a motel the last couple of days. No good. Uh, check out the entry here from Red, though. He gets these wall breakers in, opens up the wall just before they die to the Inferno Tower. Uh, but the Queen, watch the Queen here. She gets uh, the double cannon taken out right before it gets off a shot that was massive uh, because she's going to step up, get the Tesla, get the Wizard Tower. She's taking all kinds of fire here. But watch, she steps out of range of the Archer Tower, pops the ability the last second, takes out the Inferno, steps over to the other cannon, gets the cannon, as well as the final Archer Tower. Beautiful, beautiful entry there from Red. For only the cost of his heroes, essentially, he's got 27% of the base taken out with an air defense, a w couple of wizard towers, uh, an Inferno Tower. Oh my goodness, like Tesla. That was just massive, massive value. So watch this as the balloons come in on the front side. He rages where he knows the queen's going to hop over the wall. 
and she runs all the way over, luckily stops where she's shooting the hound where they're on the air defense, and those skellies just rip through her and then rip through the king. Heal spell over the core for the wizard towers and those uh, remaining Teslas and the Expos. Really, really dominant raid here from Red, man. Red didn't disconnect in this one. Uh, he's able to uh, deliver it for the good guys, man. Absolutely smashing this base. And he's got some backside balloons here to uh, time in perfectly so he can support those uh, Teslas if he needs a little bit of extra help. Because those Skellies are kind of taking out his balloons a little bit faster than he would like. Minion comes over to help, but it's all done. It is all done. Red getting it done here for WHF. Very nice work. Uh, I can hear my own echo. I apologize if that bothers you guys. Uh, it bothers me, certainly. But I will have this room treated. It'll be sound and pro in no time. Well, probably sometime, but, you know, I'm working on it is what I'm trying to say here. All right, so we've got... Who are we going to show? Let's show Lime Killer's attack here on 17. This is like an old-school, standard, shattered go la loon with the bowlers. I mean, it's not like old-school because you got the bowlers, but kind of. It's the uh, split golems here. They basically come in. He wall breaks in the center, which is just like, you know, it's status quo for, like, what it used to be. And then the bowlers come in, and since the Valks actually hop the wall and lure out the queen, check this queen. She comes all the way up the wall. Look at her platform. I don't know if that was expected, but she is way, way out of uh, her range, chasing a troop that was up there killing the CC and then went to go around the wall. So a little bit weird there. That redirects the king, but it's okay. Two air defenses already down. The bowlers still at work. Air sweeper down. The king is down. Second air sweeper down. Uh, third air defense going down right now, and it looks like the hounds come in from the right side for that final air defense. The queen is fending off a few, you know, towers here, uh, but she is going to take out the cannon with that queen ability right before it takes him out. And uh, now it's all about that queen doing some cleanup. And check this out. Oh no! Oh no! I'm not plugged in. We gotta hurry on this video, folks. We gotta hurry. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry about that, guys. I had no idea. Like, apparently, I literally just set this up. I haven't plugged in the, uh, yeah, I haven't plugged in the charger. So, we better hurry on this one. Wrapping up here, Lime Killer does. Let's go ahead and watch one more attack, and we'll call it. Um, yeah, man. So, nice work to Lime Killer here. Let's watch Princess Leoni. Uh, shout outs to Princess Leoni, too. I met her in real life uh, over in Finland. <laughs> Uh, for, I think it was the Reddit versus Forum stream. She was definitely there. Real cool girl. Uh, so, shout out to Princess Leoni. Now, let's watch her base get wrecked. So, cock and bowls uh, taking the standard. This is like WHS favorite Town Hall 9 army right now. Definitely super strong. Stoned, go, ho, bow, I don't know. Golems, three of them. Hog Riders, 14 of them. 11 Wizards, and then Bowlers out of the CC. Double jump. Uh, that's kind of what you're seeing here. Dude, look at this, look at this uh, Tesla in the corner. He gets it with the balloon. Nice work on that. And then it's all about kind of funneling. He's got the uh, third, third golem delayed here. And look at this, a dragon out of the CC. He's got one wizard over there helping out. Uh, taking out, like, what is that, a Valkyrie? Yeah, Valkyrie over there. And then it's just all about trying to get that dragon taken care of. Poison's on it, so it's starting to get a little bit weaker. Uh, but holy cow, this is... Uh, this is the slowest, painfulest CC kill I've ever seen, but one wizard getting it done. Pretty efficient, honestly. Bowlers into the core. Queen is down. Wizard tower is falling. Bomb tower down. Queen is lagging behind, but she is cleaning up everything and has nowhere else to go but into the base because of the uh, path that has been cleared by those bowlers and golems. They're still alive deep, deep in this base. Here comes the hog riders from the left side. A few of these uh, these defenses, like the cannon and the wizard tower, they are distracted by the golem in the core. So the hogs, they're essentially left alone to beat down this base. And then from the bottom, we've got a few hogs coming in to get this thing taken care of. Heal spell in the final quadrant, looking really good. I don't know if he's lost any hog riders yet. Uh, just completely crushing it. Gonna have a bomb here between these Teslas, it looks like. Skelly's kind of picking at him. Yeah, there's the bomb. Kaboom. Luckily, those don't do double damage anymore because that could have hurt. But in uh, this case, he's still got plenty of hogs left over. Princess Leoni is going to fall. I'm sorry, Princess. But it's okay. C-O-C in bowls getting it done for WHF. And that's going to wrap up this video because apparently the battery 
is just not going to last any longer, guys. So I'm going to get to farming. Let's uh, let's get that going right now because apparently we're behind the eight ball here. We got to get these troops leveled up. Uh, I know you guys have got to do the same. So that's all I got for now, guys. This is Power Bang. I'm signing out uh, for this episode. Probably going to do some Brawl Stars tomorrow. Got some really exciting new stuff going on there. I've been playing the hell out of that game, too. Absolutely love it. Um, everybody I know loves it, too. It's, it's crazy, crazy awesome. So anyways, guys, that's all I got. Make sure you guys check the links in the description. That is, that is all. I think I said that like six times now. So peace. Power Bang out. Totally, totally not my outro. Totally not my outro. Let's, let's go with it. It's almost like I'm in a new house or something. It's almost like I don't have any of my key vibes working. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Anymore. We'll get it figured out.